Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is the war number fourth or fifth, uh, I can remember. And yeah, this is season 21. Kenobi is facing Rod 45. Uh, this is a really, really weak alliance. Uh, this is the first time ever for a couple months that we have been matched by Kabam to a weak, weak alliance. But anyway, um, uh, we all know what to do so I was sent to this part 5 on section 1 on the first very on the very first fight I had to fight this domino um, I was thinking to use guillotine to gain my soul but I ended up using warlock because it was a safer fight for him so I didn't want to die I didn't want to be the first the first one to die on this uh, versus this alliance so yeah I ended up using Warlock and it was a really really easy fight on the next fight uh, on this knockdown note on section uh, on part 5 uh, it's a very um, tough lane depending on the champs the enemy puts on you but these two champs that they used on this lane was really easy, especially with me using only uh, rank 3 champions. It was really, really easy. Uh, as you can see, my strategy here was to get into my SP, uh, special 2. I used it, I used it uh, when I had the Fury on, so my damage wasn't capped. And yeah, I, I ended this fight really, really easy and got two missions for Corvus. And on this um, third fight that I had on this part five was Void. So Void is an stubborn champ. So I decided to use Warlock because he can control the power that he can gain on this node. Because uh, on the node, every 15 seconds, I believe, uh, depending if the if you have more uh, power than your enemy, uh, then he's gonna steal some power back to him and he's gonna drain power from you. So with Warlord, you can prevent that. Uh, he steal your power, but he uh, doesn't gain, I believe. But anyway, it was an easy fight. And on this fight on Footloose, I had to fight this Killmonger, but I was lucky that the enemy placed with suicides. So it was easier and faster than the usual fights I had on the past wars. So I didn't I didn't big boost on this war because I knew that it was going to be really easy. Besides, I didn't also use a cosmic boost or three minute boost. I decided not to use it because I wanted to save them for a harder war. So anyway, I did that fight really, really, really easy. Uh, I think that was the easiest Killmon Killmonger I have ever killed on that note. And yeah, um, on section two, I had to do part six, and on the very first wa very first uh, fight, I had to fight this hit monkey. Uh, let me tell you uh, that I'm not really used to his specials animations, so uh, I decide to block the entire special. Even if when I watch uh, the first special that he threw. Um, I could I could debate everything, but I just decide to not do it because if I mess up, I can I can die, and I didn't want to die. I always try to make the fights the most safe as possible I can because uh, as always I want to prevent deaths because every death you do you give it's less points your alliance gain. So yeah. I didn't even use specials on this fight. I decided to not do it because my damage was really, really enough to kill this hit monkey without any problem. And yeah, I was just waiting to him get into his 2% because on this note, you can only do 2.5% uh, per, per hit. So yeah, my special 3, I knew that it was going to kill him. And it did. I got my soul. And yeah, on this, this is in fact my last fight on this war. Uh, I had uh, three options to use versus this Omega Red. But uh, yeah, I I ended up using Guillotine 
because I I could you I could have used a warlock or corvus both of those champs could work too as well but uh, I decided to use guillotine because I had my soul I knew this is this was going to be a really really fast and easy fight because uh, guillotine is a robot so when uh, omega omega red is really weak against robots because the spores on you won't be uh, jumping um, um, won't be too hard on you right um, and yeah anyway I used my special 3 when I knew that it was going to kill him it did and yeah it was <laughs> yeah an easy an easy war for us an easy war for me um, yeah guys we ended up winning this war uh, the war hasn't ended yet, but the enemy is going to give us a lot of knots of, of yeah, uh, like 79, there, there is shows like 81 notes up for us, but I think the, the enemy uh, clear like two more defenders on our defense. But well, yeah, as I said at the beginning of the war, guys, uh, this alliance was really, really weak. So it is understandable that they cannot um, explore the entire map if they wanna, if they don't want to spend, right? Uh, they ended up <laughs> dying like 81 times. I totally understand uh, our defense is one of the strongest defense of the entire war. And yeah, uh, better luck for the next time, guys. Um, uh, yeah, uh, also, um, there is a couple Latino guys from Revolution over that. And yeah, I send you some... <laughs> how do you say that? Mm. Cheers? I, I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah. This was a really, really easy war for us, guys. Uh, we are glad that <laughs> that we had this war because on the last three wars, we were really, really... Uh, there were really, really hard wars. Uh, we almost lost the last one, as you guys can remember. But yeah. So, uh, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and yeah we'll see you in the next one guys and um, take care goodbye